Although Boston Dynamics was founded in 1992 as a spin-off from MIT, much of the company's success and viral YouTube fame has only come in recent years with the development of lifelike robotic solutions like Atlas, a humanoid robot that can run and do backflips, and Spot, a robotic quadrupedal dog capable of remote emergency assistance and reconnaissance. Headquartered in Waltham, Massachusetts, just west of Boston, Boston Dynamics is the market leader in the development and creation of dynamic, highly mobile robots. Today, we are taking a deep look on Boston Dynamics and its history of making innovative robots. Originally founded in 1992 by Mark Raybert, in its early days, Boston Dynamics was bankrolled primarily by DERPA, an arm of the U.S. military, and has subsequently spent time under Google X ownership, where it was primarily focused on research and development. In 2017, the company was sold to Japan's SoftBank Group in a deal that then-CEO Mark Raybert said was intended to push the boundaries of what advanced robots can do. While a company changing hands so many times in such a short period of time isn't particularly unusual, the company's quick transitions have been anything but successful. In fact, Boston Dynamics has struggled to make a profit for the past 28 years. Everything changed in December 2020 when Boston Dynamics announced that it was joining the Hyundai family of South Korea. Hyundai Motor Group acquired an 80% stake in the company for $880 million, with SoftBank retaining control of the remaining 20%. From MIT to Google to SoftBank and now to Hyundai, each new owner has served a specific purpose in helping the company grow its bottom line. The U.S. military provided much-needed funding and research opportunities for a new and growing company. Google provided resources for exploration. SoftBank assisted in the commercialization of products, and Hyundai will provide the engineering, manufacturing, and marketing expertise and resources required to scale up and enable further innovation. Hyundai could use the robot maker's valuable technology and intellectual property to help it achieve its goal of becoming a smart mobility solution provider. The four main robots currently in Boston Dynamics production lineup are Atlas, Spot, Stretch, and Pick. Atlas, unveiled to the world in July 2013, is YouTube famous and is the world's most advanced dynamic humanoid robot, whose advanced control system and state-of-the-art hardware give it the power and balance to demonstrate human-like agility. Atlas, which weighs in at a healthy 176 pounds, stands at around 4 feet 11 inches tall and is capable of a top speed of 5.4 kilometers per hour, has 28 hydraulic joints that permit it to display impressive feats of mobility. Capable of impressive athletic feats, such as being hit by projectiles while balancing on one leg, cartwheels, backflips, jumping on and over boxes, running on grass or an uneven terrain, impressive gymnastics, floor routines, and even dancing with one another, the Atlas is truly in a class by itself. By utilizing LiDAR and stereo sensors in its head to avoid obstacles, assess terrain, help with navigation, and manipulate objects, Atlas is able to traverse and learn from the world around it. Atlas has numerous applications and is primarily intended to aid emergency services in search and rescue operations. Spot, also a YouTube star, is a 65-pound quadruped industrial robot dog that can climb stairs and traverse rough terrain with ease while remaining small enough to be used indoors. Spot is a rugged and customizable platform armed with what Boston Dynamics called athletic intelligence with a proven track record of supporting remote operation and autonomous sensing across a wide range of industries. The current version of SPOT 
is not for use in the home, but is instead reserved for commercial, industrial, enterprise, and university research uses. Spot currently retails for $74,500. Interestingly, in order to purchase a spot, buyers must agree to some very specific terms and conditions of sale that require them to agree that spot will not be used to harm or intimidate people or animals, or be used as a weapon or configured to hold a weapon. Spot can be used by police and fire departments to get remote visibility into potentially dangerous situations to inspect suspicious packages and environments for hazardous materials or explosive, assess hostile threats remotely, and to search structurally dangerous environments in emergency response scenarios. Spot is also a pretty amazing dancer. Girls hit your hallelujah, girls hit your hallelujah, girls hit your hallelujah, cause I'm Tim Fong gon' give it to ya, cause I'm Tim Fong gon' give it to ya, cause I'm Tim Fong gon' give it to ya, Saturday night and we in the spot, don't believe me just watch, come on! Stretch, on the other hand, which is relatively dull in comparison to Spot and Atlas, is a case-handling, versatile mobile robot with a box-like base with a set of wheels that can be easily deployed in existing warehouses. By sending the robot to the work, Stretch reduces the time it takes to unload trucks and build pallets and eliminates the need for new fixed infrastructure. Stretch utilizes software to maximize pick rates. Boston Dynamics claims it can shift up to 800 boxes an hour, handle package variability, and transform warehouse work using its smart gripper technology. Stretch isn't yet priced, but Boston Dynamics says it can be installed without requiring costly reconfiguration or investments in new fixed infrastructure. Pick is the last robot that is currently listed on Boston Dynamics website. It uses high-resolution 2D and 3D vision and machine learning algorithms to locate cartons on a single, rainbow, and mixed-skew pallets, allowing for fast depalletizing. It can't do backflips or dance, but it's only designed to do one thing, move boxes. Its cost is yet to be revealed. Now, let's take a brief moment and just appreciate a few of these amazing robots dancing together in a recent video put out by Boston Dynamics. Boston Dynamics also has many other new and legacy robots such as Handle, another warehouse robot, Wildcat, LS3, a gear-carrying soldier companion, Sandflea, an RC-like recon robot, Big Dog, and Panther, but they are either not being sold or aren't going to be available anytime soon. So. How are Boston Dynamics robots being used and utilized today? In March 2021, a SpaceX Boston Dynamics robot dog named Zeus was spotted at the Space Agency's test site just minutes after the SN10 rocket prototype exploded. SpaceX employees were seen rummaging through the wreckage and debris after the explosion, collecting data. In videos that have surfaced since then, the robot dog Zeus has been seen trotting around the wreckage at SpaceX's Boca Chica facility in Texas, assisting the humans. 
Zeus even has its own doghouse at SpaceX to rest in at the end of a long day of work. Additionally, the NYPD have tested Spot recently, receiving many negative headlines. The New York Police Department introduced the Digidog to the public in December of 2020. The Boston Dynamics Spot robot was enlisted to assist officers in better identifying dangers at crime scenes while also keeping them safe. A viral video of the futuristic dog patrolling a Bronx neighborhood after officers responded to a hostage situation sparked controversy over privacy concerns in February of 2021. In an interview with the New York Times, John Miller, the NYPD's Deputy Commissioner for Intelligence and Counterterrorism, defended the department's use of the robot. He claims that Digidog keeps officers out of harm's way and is less expensive and more advanced than previous robots used by the force. Although the Digidog has since been retired in New York City, it is still currently being tested for potential field deployment by police departments in Massachusetts and Hawaii. What do you think of Boston Dynamics and their lifelike robots? Do you have concerns about potentially arming robots to assist in law enforcement? Let us know what you think in the comments and make sure to hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you're new to the channel to be notified when we upload more content. We'll see you guys in the next one.